What's up guys, I'm back here again with another video. This time I'm gonna be unpacking a huge, massive, pretty big box here. And um, guys, this box has been sitting in my room for about a month and a half. I ordered this shit a very long time ago, so I really, I honestly don't have a clue what I what I ordered here. But it's, it's a lot of DVDs and Blu-rays, I remember, and it's from a website called hamiltonbook.com which uh, if you guys never checked, uh, seen it, I suggest you guys check it out. They sell uh, DVDs and Blu-rays at a very fair price, like, like um, you know, three, four bucks. You can get popular titles, you can get obscure titles. There's a lot of classic uh, Blu-rays there. There's also a lot of Kinos and a lot of Screen Factories, a lot of Code Red titles there for a very, very cheap price. Cheaper than Amazon and cheaper than whatever you guys order from online. Um, but yeah, so the website's called Hamilton Book. It's really, really good. And let's see what I picked up here because I honestly don't remember. This is going to be a massive um, update to my DVD and Blu-ray collection. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so the staples are really hard over here, so I think I'm gonna have to break it from the from the inside here because this box is kind of weird. Anyways, let's see what I picked up on. There's a bunch of deep Blu-rays here, guys. So most of these movies I haven't even seen or heard of. So um, let's see what what we got here. First off, this is a Code Red movie with a spine number 113, and it's called Fox Bat. It's a, it's a movie that, it's a, it's a classic movie, and um, it's kind of like, um, uh, it, it was kind of a action, it's a action movie from the 70s. You won't find a 70s Hong Kong action project much crazier than Fox Bat. So it's a 1970s Hong Kong action movie, but uh, apparently has American actors in it. And um, so yeah, so this movie, uh, the this action adventure thriller, was the talk about the Cannes um, Film Festival in 1977. So it's a it's a 1977 movie, very high budget for an independent Hong Kong film. And, um, so, yeah, it's, um, and it stars, uh, Vonetta McGee from the, from the Eager Sanction, Rick Van Nutter from Thunderball, the, the 007 movie, and Roy Child from Game of Death. So, I mean, it has a pretty good, uh, lineup here, and it's a Hong Kong action movie, uh, again, released by, uh, Code Red on, on Blu-ray here. Pick this up for... I believe it was no more than three, four bucks on Blu-ray, so that's a pretty good deal. Hamilton book did a pretty good uh, sale that 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 time around. This is another Code Red movie release, and this is called uh, Group Marriage. This is uh, has a bunch of new uh, special features. It has uh, the original trailer, Code Red trailers. It has a uh, brand new HD and a morphic transfer and uh, so yeah so and the transfer was actually supervised by the director of the film which came out a very long time ago 1973 so this is a 1973 crazy um, group marriage type of thing and it's kind of like a swingers uh, type of movie from the 70s, you know, it's rated R, of course, and, yeah, so the, the director's name is Stephanie Rothman, so it was a, a female director back in the 70s, so that must have been crazy, and she's directing this uh, group marriage movie, which is about, you know, um, uh, you know, like, uh, swingers and stuff, you see the back, you see, like, couples um, swinging around, so, yeah, group marriage. So, definitely, really want to check that one out. Then, there's an, another Code Red uh, movie here. It's called 
Last House on Ma on Mas on Mas Massacre Massacre Street. And uh, so yeah, so the Last House on Massacre Street, and it has a special. Uh, this is a double pack. There's another one called the Wild Little Bunch, and these are both a uh, Code Red release. They're um, the mass the the Little House on Massacre Street is 85 minutes and. The Wild Little Bunch is 105 minutes. They're apparently both PG. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, well, I don't know. It looks kind of, like, gruesome from the back here. There's a, there's a bride, there's a bride trying to stab someone with a, with the scissors. I don't know how this really got a PG rating over here. This is kind of weird to me. I don't know. I haven't seen any of these movies. And they're... They look really old. But... I have... I see a picture here... Of a bride... Bloodied up... And has a pair of scissors. And she's either about to stab someone... Yeah, and she... Look, she's, she's gonna stab some this guy over here. So I don't know what really happens here, but... And apparently it's rated PG. So I don't know what's going on with the uh, rating system when it comes to these movies. But um, nevertheless, I'm eager to uh, watch these two movies. The Wild Little Bunch and The Last House on um, Street. Uh, Sacra Street. Then we got here... Another Code Red movie. This is number 75 on the spine. And this is a typical action movie from the 80s. And it looks badass from the back. Um, it's called A Mission Kill. I like the cover art as well. I've never seen these movies. These are very, very old. This one's from 1987. And it has a brand new HD Master. And on the trailers these these code red movies don't come with a lot of uh, special features like like arrow video does but they do have a nice transfer and they do pick these weird movies that will never come out on regular blu-ray and will never come out on you know like best buy they're not popular at all they're very obscure movies that's what i like about kino and that's what i like about code red anyways this is rated r and it's it's a uh, your typical 80s action uh, war movie. Super cheesy. Can't wait to pop this one open. These are the kind of movies that I really, really like. So I'm really excited about Mission Kill. Another Code Red movie. This is number 68 on the spine. This is called Stigma. And it's... it's uh, 95 minutes was rated R, and this is this stars Michael uh, Philip Michael Thomas, which most of you guys will remember him as the guy from Miami Vice. And uh, this movie um, from the direct from the director uh, David Durston, which also directed I Drink Your Blood, comes this new bacteria. It's called. The curse that begins with a kiss, and she's got it. So yeah, it's called Stigma, so I'm really excited to pop this one in. It's uh, kind of like a suspense uh, movie, and, you know, it looks it looks pretty good. Um, it is kind of old. It's from 1972, but not, I really want to, like, watch these weird movies that I've never seen in my life. That's a cool cover of those big lips there. Then I got here, um, this is a double feature, Code Red, again, looks like I ordered a lot of Code Reds. So this one's got those mad, mad movie makers, and the other one's got, says, uh, gosh, it's me, Alice Goodbody. So these are kind of like, um, perverted movies, um, those mad, mad movie makers, um, one of them, um, um, Gosh Is Me, Alice Good Baby, it's from 1971, 
and it's rated R. And those mad, mad movie makers is actually a PG movie from 1974. I just don't understand how they... I don't know how Code Red mixes in a PG movie. PG movie with a rated R movie that's like, you know, kind of like perverted and shit. It just... I, I just don't don't get it. But anyways, it's a double feature. Um, they look funny. They look ridiculous. And I'm really um, excited to open this and watch it. Um, especially um, those Mad Mad movie makers that looks super funny. Anyways. I also picked up from Code Red as well. This is a hijack. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but I did see this a very, very long time ago, and it was really, really good. This is a action, action-packed movie. However, it's also a PG movie due, due to the fact that it's really, really old, so the action is, like, outdated. But, um, it's really fun. It's a really good movie. It's a 1973 classic. Again, I got these movies really cheap. They were all, like, four or five bucks on Blu-ray, so it's, to me, it's a steal. And I'm a big Code Red uh, fan, so most of them that I got were actually from Code Red, and I did I couldn't give up on this deal. So this is a hijack, you know. It's it is what it is, you know. They hijack the airplane, and there's an action. It's an action-packed thriller, and I'm really excited to watch this one again. I'm gonna watch it probably this weekend, but if I get time. Then I have this one. This one is newer. This one is called the uh, Alien Uprising. And um, this one didn't come out too long ago. This is a 2003 movie. It is rated R. It's one of those Phase 4 films. And um, not that many special features. It has just a behind the scenes and the trailers. And it also, what I didn't know about this movie, I just read now. Like, I've seen it on, on the shelves before. Like, on Walmart, I believe I've seen it. But I just I just realized it has Jean-Claude Van Damme in it. Which is kind of weird for him to make, like, one of these alien action movies type of things. But I'm pretty sure he has a short part because he's, like, he's nowhere to be found here. So, he's not in the cover and he's not in the back. However, it says that he's in it. But I'm a big fan about I'm a really big fan of alien movies. Um, I don't care if they're cheesy or not. It's just the fact that they're alien movies and stuff. It's really intriguing and really very entertaining for my eyes. And hopefully this is good. I haven't read anything about it. I don't know whether it's good or not. I know it's an action movie, and Van Damme is in it. I, I that was a blind blind buy for me. I got here from E1, another not so old movie. This is called Night of Demons. And this is kind of like the remake of Night of Demons, the old school one. This is here on Blu ray. And I picked this up really, really cheap, guys, like four bucks. Um, this is rated R. This is, this is a horror comedy type of movie. And it has a couple of spe uh, special features, like, you know, like, behind the bloodbath feature, it, the intro comic, the intro from ComicCon.com, and the audio commentary with some of the actors, and, you know, uh, so, yeah. So, I, I haven't seen the remake of this, I haven't seen this one, so, I, I you know, I want to check this out, because I was a big fan of the originals. I have them all, part one and two, on DVD. Then I got this on regular DVD, and it's called Hooligans. So I, I'm really excited to see this one. Um, kind of like a mobster movie and shit. It looks pretty low budget. Um, I've heard good stuff about this online, but you know I don't know if it's any good. It's called uh, Hooligans, and it looks like a kind of like an action movie. It's not an American movie. I want to say it's probably Canadian or or Irish or or British. So I don't know. It's it's kind of like those weird um, foreign movies. Anyway, so Hooligans definitely want to check that one out on regular DVD. 
I got another cold red here, spine number 81. It's called Running Scared. Um, look at this cover, guys. This shit looks bad as fuck. Total cheesy from 1980s. From the 80s, um, I'm pretty sure 19, 1980, as a matter of fact. Um, the transfer looks beautiful from the pictures. And I can't wait to pop this open and see it. It's uh, one of those... Uh, Kind of like action movies, you know, set like in the jungles and shit, and with like gor gorillas and and the the weird military and shit. So, so the movie's from 1980. However, it was based in 1961. It should be good, man. This this should be really fucking fantastic. Very cheesy. Can't wait to see this. Has this guy as a bad guy? You could I've seen him a bunch of times in a lot of old old action movies. So can't wait to see this running scared. Another code red number sixty three. It's called Acapulco Gold. Acapulco Gold. I have no idea what this is about. I just saw the label code red and bought it because I'm a retard like that. I'm a big fan of Code Red, and what can I say? Um, if I see Code Red, I'm buying it. Anyways, because my mission is to collect all of them, and they all have numbers in them, and I think they're by 130, so I have a long way to go. I probably have, like, probably, like, 15 of them. So, but my goal is to collect all the Code Reds. And, um, actually, I like, all, I like everything that has, like, the, the numbers on the spine. Like Vestron videos and like um what's the other one that has it? Um Shop Select Shop Factory Select. They also have the expand numbers. Anyways, so I'll pull go gold and it looks like it's like kind of like an action slash drama um thing that happens to a couple that, that went on vacation to Acapulco, Mexico. And you know, it looks like it looks fun. It looks very, uh, very entertaining. It looks like it has like a lot of uh, cool scenes and cool, um, uh, you know, like an adventure type of movie and stuff. Then I got from Warner Brothers. This is called Dead Ringer. It has a pretty cool cover, but it looks like it's a very, very old, old movie. It's actually from 1964 so this is definitely a classic and it's in it is in black and white as you can see here in the back and kind of like you know it's a, it's a horror movie it's not rated black and white horror movies awesome they're fun and it has a uh, Betty Davis Carl Malden and Peter Lawford uh, so yeah it's a pretty long movie, 116 minutes, close to two hours. Uh, and Dead Ringer it is. I, I've never heard anything about it, but um, I'm willing to check this out. Again, very cheap on Blu-ray. And uh, finally, the last one here in this big-ass box. It's finally uh, a Code Red number 115. This is called Baby Needs a New Pair of Shoes. And this looks like it's going to be really, really, really fun funny like really to die for um black uh comedy exploitation movies are awesome as fuck seven come 11 i don't know what this is about but this this looks like crazy crazy shit um hope it's really really funny it looks like it's super cheesy it has a brand new 2016 hd master from a from a 35 millimeter um print and it has the trailers again these code reds don't come with a lot of features but you know it's just fun to see movies like this come out on a blu-ray and i believe it, it's so awesome to see all the vhs movies that ever came out come out on blu-ray and companies like code red and kino are making that possible little by little i'm not saying that they're all going to be available because that's going to be impossible there's so many vhs's out there but at least we're getting something out there 
It's not like these big companies are not doing anything about it. They're just letting these old classics just rot. So I'm I'm happy that that um Code Red and um, you know companies like that are putting these weird ass movies that'll never come out on Blu-ray by by big companies out there. And whoever is interested, like me, will pick it up. Whoever won't, they won't. But anyways, this is Baby ne Needs new a new pair of shoes. And it's a rated R movie. It should be like a gang war type of thing. Mobsters and shit, you know. But it should be funny at the same time because of the cheesiness and all that shit. But definitely awesome to get this one. And that's it for my awesome uh, HamiltonBook.com pickup. Um, I hope you guys liked this unboxing video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.